privilege to be able to come in the house of the Lord and to be able to sing to Him and to worship Him and to be able to depend upon His word, depend upon His promises from day to day. And our prayer sound today is how wonderful it is to walk with God and how wonderful it is to along the road that holy men have trod. How wonderful it is to hear Him say, Fear not, have faith, tis I who leads the way. And maybe we can put the prayer requests up on uh, the screen. We know for sure about the ones in the seniors, they're lonely, uh, they need visits. And uh, as we look at their names from week to week, and as we think about them from day to day, and our prayers go up for each and every one of them, and for Bill Snellgrove, and for Russell, and for Eddie, and for Richard Snellgrove, <coughs> and for Marty, who's not feeling so well in these days. And uh, we pray that God will be around about him, and that he will feel God's presence in those days as he's not feeling so well that I report to the hospital for different reasons. And we pray for Marie Pottle and for Janet and for Fanny and for Pat Sparks and also for Tommy Oliver. And we pray for Don as he's going in this week for a procedure and Don he will be in our prayers and I pray that God will see you through uh, those difficult days that you're going through, uh, not only with uh, pet down in the home, uh, but with the problems that you have in your own health. And we pray today for the Crowley family. Uh, Archie has been in our mind uh, ever since she called on our morning and said that Garvey had passed away. It was a sad situation, and I pray that through these days that God will lift her up. And she's, she's still part of our family. Uh, here in this core, uh, but she's been well taken care of in Carbonate Core, and I pray that in these days that she will realize and know uh, that there's many prayers going up for her, and she will need our prayers uh, to keep uh, strong in the Lord. And for our young people, and most of all today, we pray for the salvation of the lost. Uh, there's many people up and down this shore that need Jesus Christ in a very special way, and they need a touch from the Lord. And I pray that that would be our main prayer from day to day, uh, that we would uh, lift up the people uh, that are going past in their own making and they have no time to come to church. And I also want to say thank you uh, to God uh, for Jeannie, for the prayers that has been answered. Uh, when she called Ruby and told her that she had a good report, Ruby said, we have prayed, we have prayed, and the sickness has left your body. And I pray today that she will realize and know and that God is still in control. And I know she knows this for sure, that God is still in control and he watches over her. So we're going to sing verses 1 and 2 together, and then I will lead in prayer. <laughs>
Lord, if we can lift up holy hands. Father, if we can thank you for the old Robert Cross. Father, if we can thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary to cover each one of our sins. And Father, we just want to thank you just now for all that you mean to each one of us. We thank you, dear God, that we can talk to you from day to day. Father, that we can praise you. And Father, we know that many years ago, and Father, that you picked us up. And Father, that you put our feet on the King's Highway. And Father, that you have given us peace within our heart from day to day, knowing that we do not have to fear, Lord, what comes in our pathway, because we know that we have one that is walking right by our side. And we thank you from day to day that we can walk with you. And to know, Lord, that you are dear with us. And Father, that we can lay our heavy burdens on you. And no matter what the circumstances of life holds for any of us, we know, dear God, that you are dear with us. We know that your grace is sufficient for every need. And we know, Lord, when we bring the needs to you, that our burdens be made much lighter because you help us to carry those burdens. And Father, just now we have named each one of those people that is in the seniors' home. Father, I'm sure many of them would love to be gathered here with us today. But we pray, dear God, just now, that you would go to them, Lord, and they would feel your loving arms around each one of them, that they would feel your presence. And Father, that they would know that you love them unconditionally. And Father, I pray and just now for the Crowley family. I pray for Audrey and Gary, Lord, and for Barbara. Father, going through a very rough time at this a point in time in their life, the loss of a husband and a father. And Father, I pray that you would undertake the archery. And Father, I pray that as she lets her light shine from day to day, that she would be that glowing Christian, Lord, that you would ever to be. But Father, just now we know, and Lord, she's a bit on the discouraged side, probably falling down and, and feeling down and low at this time. But I pray that you would surround her. We know, dear God, that when she brings her troubles and our trials to you, that you will uplift her. And Father, I pray that each one of us, Lord, would continue to pray for her. And Father, that she would be uplifted, that she would be comforted in these days. And Father, we just want to thank you again for the answered prayers, Lord, that has been in Jeannie's life. And Father, I would ask in a very special way, Lord, that you would surround her with your love from day to day. And Father, that she knows, Lord, that you have answered prayer. Father, I pray that you would be with Tommy Oliver. And I would ask, Lord, that you would be with him, that you would be him at his point of need just now. And Father, that he, as he goes for a procedure, Lord, in one of these days, Lord, whenever he's called, that he would keep his faith and his trust in you. And for down today, and uh, Father, going through difficult days, uh, Father, we know it is not always easy sometimes to be a Christian, but we know, dear God, that you didn't give us a bed of roses, but we thank you, Lord, and that when trials come, troubles come, and sickness come, and we suffer a long way, we know that you are with us. And Father, just now, I would ask, Lord, that you would be around the mountain this week, and Father, that you would undertake, Father, that you would guide the doctor's hands, and Father, whatever the result is, Lord, I pray that he would leave it at the foot of the old rubber cross, knowing that you care and that you do understand. And Father, just now, I pray, Lord, that you would be with Les forward, and Father, that you would surround him with your love. And Father, he too, uh, Lord, would come in that right relationship with you, and Father, that you would heal his body. And Father, I thank you just now for Fair Lisa's dedication to you, and Father, how she has come in among us, Lord, to do the service today. And I would ask in a very special way, dear Jesus, that your Holy Spirit would minister unto her just now, and the words, Lord, that she would have to say, and Father, would penetrate each and every one of our hearts. Father, that we would be strengthened in our faith, and Father, if there's one in this little gathering that have not made their full commitment to you, that this would be the day, Lord, that their heart would be challenged, and that they would find you as their personal Savior. And for the people that will watch this TV service, I pray, Lord, that if there's a need in their home, Father, if there's a need of salvation, if there's a need of healing, if there's a need, Lord, of encouragement, I pray that this service, Lord, would go into their homes, and that they would be encouraged, and Father, that they would be blessed, for I pray it in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to stand in the third verse. 
We're going to repeat it together as a prayer. How wonderful it is to praise my God, who conquers and protects me with his rod. How wonderful it is to praise in every hour, my heart attuned to see his wondrous star. Let's sing verses 4 and 5 together, please. 